another Becca bronzer. Where are you going, man? All right, so today we are back in the same makeup closet. I recently did a declutter of this drawer, which are all of my eyeshadows. So if you wanna see that, I will link that video in the eye and down below. But today I wanna to do the bronzer drawer. Blush bronzer highlight drawer is, no words, it's pretty bad. I'm also filming a Foundation Friday video today. This is the Tarte Found Sealer, which will definitely be way up before this video. So I'll have that link down below too. The drawer is entirely packed, so wish me luck. So we will see how this goes. But if you're excited for this video and you enjoy declutters, you can give us a thumbs up. If you're new here, I upload every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 6 p.m. Pacific time. Let's go declutter things. I think this one is gonna be actually pretty difficult because I feel like a lot of these things I need to keep to reference in future videos and stuff, but hopefully we can get rid of some stuff and at least just like organize it so I can see everything better. There used to be blushes over here and then highlighters and then bronzers and like contour products. I also have these organizers that I might use. I got these from Target. I'm gonna see if we need those at the end. All right, so glow kit, I'm definitely gonna have to keep just for future videos, not a fan of it, but I'm gonna keep it. Sigma blush palette, I'm also gonna keep, I like that one. This Ulta Baked Highlight, I feel like I don't really use a whole lot. I've already done a full face of Ulta video, so I think I'm gonna donate this one. By the way, like I mentioned in the eyeshadow declutter video, anything I'm getting rid of, I donate to Project B Share. They accept used makeup, they sanitize everything, and then they distribute it. So that is where everything's going. Amrezy highlight, I'm keeping. I do really like that one. Ombre blush, I'm keeping. This one is really pretty, the MAC Spring Collection, but it has this weird like overlay thing to it, so I feel like I'm not gonna use that one a whole lot, so I'm gonna donate that. Well, I used to love the It Cosmetics My Sculpted Face Palette. I don't think they make this anymore, this exact one, so even if I did mention this in a video, I probably wouldn't mention this one since it's not currently made. So even though I love it, is it time to part with it? It might be. This highlight got a ton of use out of it and the contour. Yeah, I think I just need to purchase the new one. I have a few of these Morphe blush palettes and I think I'm just gonna keep my favorite. I'm gonna keep these two. I feel like I have these colors. I'm also gonna start separating these out over here by blushes and highlight. Burberry, love that one. I love both of these pixie ones, so I'm gonna keep those. This I never use, the strobe scope thing. It's not really my color, it's like too peachy, so I'm gonna donate this one. Also this Koki. Okay, this Tarte blush palette I'm gonna keep because it has so many different shades in it. I might have some doubles though, so I'm gonna double check. I used to love this Too Faced Lavian Rose, but they don't make this anymore and I probably wouldn't be using it in a video or anything, so I'm gonna donate that one. Okay, this one is so old. I love this blush, but I probably just need to purchase the actual full-size one because it's, I mean, definitely expired, but also this is like 10 years old. Jouer, keeping that one. I feel like I need to try this Flower Beauty one more. That looks really pretty. I'm not a fan of the Maybelline Master Chrome highlights at all, but I do feel like I'll definitely need to reference those in future videos, so I'm gonna keep that one. Ooh, that looks pretty. I need to try that some more. Balm Beach. This Lorac blush, I feel like I need to try some more. This is the old Ofer packaging, but I used to really like this one. That's in the shade Pink Satin, but I don't think they make that one anymore, so I'm gonna donate that. Essence blush here, I'll probably keep that just for future videos. I don't know what I wanna do with this Ofer one. I'm gonna keep it for now and then we'll see. I used to really like Tea Rose, but I feel like I never really use this pinky of shades anymore, so I think I'm gonna keep Romantic Rose and then donate Tea Rose. Pretty vulgar one, I never reach for, so I'm gonna donate that one. Getting rid of these three, this is a Becca one, Coastal Scents, and Pure. I need to double check I don't have double of this one because I think I might. By the way, I'm gonna clean out these bins afterwards, obviously. Siwayo Highlight, love this one, definitely keeping that. This is their In the Cloud Shimmer Switch. These are so cute, these mini Too Faced ones. I'm gonna get rid of the darker one and keep this pink one, and then keep in this mini little Laura Geller. This cargo blush I like, but I feel like I'm not gonna use it that much in videos, and I just don't reach for it that much. This is Bali. Elf Illuminating Palette, definitely keep it. It's one of my favorite highlighting palettes. Really pretty, like, corally Becca blush. NARS Highlight. This is Albatross. I literally never use Albatross, so I'm gonna donate that one. Peach, I love this one, the Peach Perfect. Okay, I actually just got a really pretty NARS Orgasm. Like, the packaging was gorgeous. They did it like a pink kind of outside packaging, so I'm gonna donate this one. This is a... Morphe blush palette. I'm gonna donate this one. I don't feel like I'm gonna reach for it a whole lot. We have two elf blushes here. This one I used to use all the time. This should probably just go in an empties video at this point. Yeah, I think that's what we're gonna do. This is in the shade Peachy Keen. I don't even think they make this anymore. Wow, we're gonna be here for forever. I gotta step it up here. 
Do they still make this one? I love this trio, but I think it was limited edition. Oh, this was good. Do they still make this? No one talks about these anymore. Totally forgot about this. Definitely keeping this. Maybelline has a contour. All three of those are good in there. This is a Bobbi Brown, whoa, throwback. I remember one of my friends in high school had this thing and I thought she was so cool because she had Bobbi Brown makeup. Bronx blush, I'm gonna get rid of that one. And then this color icon one, I'm also gonna get rid of. Here's another Bare Minerals blush. Those are really nice, by the way. This one is super tiny, rosy glow. I feel like I'm never gonna use that just because it's in this kind of packaging. Kat Von D, don't need that one. All right, there's a few more of the Tarte blushes here. So again, I'll have to double check that none of these are in that palette. Oh, that one's like brand new, still has the thing on it. Oh, here's the other BH Cosmetics one. I actually don't get a whole lot of use of this purpley shade, so I'm gonna get rid of that one. This is so heavy. This is by Terry. I'm gonna keep that one. Oh, that clothes is so nice. Wow, this really goes back there. Two old Morphe palettes back here that they don't even make anymore, so. Those are goners. We have an Honest Beauty. Does Honest Beauty still exist? Two more of the Jouer, keeping those. I don't feel like I'm gonna use this a whole lot, this Makeup Revolution palette. Oh, this I used to use all the time. Okay, we're keeping that. Forgot about these. These came out like last year, I wanna say. These were pretty. A couple of these shades were really nice. It's like a contour, these Makeup Forever. Okay, so we have the blushes. There's some blush in here I can see back there, but for the most part, all the blushes have gone through, and I would say I got rid of about half. I have like a box filled over there. Next section, let's do this. Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil, keeping that. I love this Bare Minerals bronzer. This is in the shade Fair to Light. Here's another Exo Beauty. So this is a highlight. Okay, so I need to start separating these out by bronzers and highlights over here. This one I like as almost like a blush, but I feel like because it was limited edition and everything, I'm probably not going to use it a whole lot. Anything that's bigger packaging, if I really don't use it a whole lot or if I don't see myself using it a whole lot, I'm going to try and get rid of it just to make room for other stuff. But this was nice as like a blush since it is kind of shimmery. Pretty sure this one was limited edition too. This Paula's Choice one they don't make anymore, but I do love this for traveling because I love this subtle highlight. The bronze is really pretty, and I also like the blushes, so I'm going to keep this just for myself to use. Oh, look. These are kind of organized under here. They used to be. So I have some, like, bigger palettes right here in the front. So I have the Too Faced Natural Face Palette. I don't really use this. I'm going to donate it. Hopefully someone will enjoy this. I'm gonna get rid of this Urban Decay Sin because this one's pretty bulky and again, I never reach for this one. This BH Cosmetics Spotlight Palette is really pretty. I totally forgot I even had this because I couldn't see it. So keeping that. Beauty Gems. This I think is like an Ulta brand. I'm gonna donate that one. This NARS Palette. Let's see what's in here if I can get it open. This looks like a really pretty like springy palette, but they're coming out with so many new palettes all the time that I feel like I don't even know if they still make this one. It's probably Lum Edition Wanted One. Totally forgot about MAC Hyper Real Glow. This is so pretty. That highlight, keeping that for sure. LA Girl Pro Face. This might actually be a powder that I got to try as a bronzer. This is NARS Fort de France. Love that one. Okay, Hula definitely keeping for future videos. This Hourglass one, again, totally forgot about, but that's one of my favorites. This A Cosmetics palette is nice, but it's very large and in charge, so I'm gonna donate that one. Oh, what the heck, I have another Casey Holmes Spotlight palette. I didn't even realize I had that. Oh, this was the other shade. This one, this shade was a little bit too dark for me, so I'm gonna donate that one, but I love the other shade of this. I still use that one regularly. Okay, this is a Kevin Aquan Neo Highlight. Oh, this one has like almost like a pinky purpley kind of reflect, so I'm gonna get rid of this one. Laura Mercier Candlelight Powder. I'm gonna keep that. And this Physician's Formula Highlight. I love this white shade right here. All right, so I got rid of all the stuff in front of here. Now let's go through these two bad boys. So these are mostly all highlights. I see a couple blushes in here. I'm gonna donate this Aspen over to one so that's not, since look. Words. That one was limited edition. Don't love this shade of the Jade Cat, so I'm gonna get rid of that. I love this one. This one is everything. This is in the shade Bella Rose. I've talked about this for years. Okay, getting rid of these four here. Whoa, Mary Luminizer. I have to keep this just for, just for a sentimental value. This Oprah highlight is in the shade Pillow Talk. This is their new packaging. I'm gonna keep that one. I want to try this some more. This is the Alima Pure. I tried this in the green clean beauty makeup video. This Misha Prism Ball Blender. I never really use these. I like that, and that's pretty bulky packaging. 
Okay, getting rid of these guys just because of old packaging or I don't use them or the shades are too dark. I have a couple more. Morphe, these look like the single highlights. Oh, that one looks kind of pretty. I'm gonna keep that one and get rid of this one. This collection was like so hyped up because the packaging is so gorgeous and it is one of the prettiest packagings ever, but I feel like the product just did not live up to the packaging. Like it's, it's okay, I'm gonna keep one of them. Oh, Starlet Powder Makeup Forever, keeping that. This I feel like I might need for future videos, this Milani one, but remember not loving that. This e.l.f. highlight is in, wow, I need to try that Starlet Glow. Getting rid of all these. Oh my god, look at this mini Mary Luminizer. Actually, maybe I should just keep the mini. Yeah, I think I'm gonna, because the old packaging was like ripped anyways. Moving on to this. This is more highlights, kind of, and also like a mix of some bronzers, I think. This Catrice Sun one, I find to be a little bit too warm. I need that one, but actually, do I need that? I might need to keep that. Fenty. Oh, this white shade I wasn't a fan of, but I'm going to keep it because I feel like I'll need that for future videos. This was like an indie brand. I'm not sure. Oh, okay. These two I haven't used in forever, but they're really similar to the Laura Geller and the Secret Beam. Secret Beam you can get off of Amazon. I rarely use these like loose kind of ones, so I'm going to donate this Bare Minerals one. And also the... Mega Glow. This was really pretty, but definitely a limited edition from like years ago. The Blue Me Up by Essence. Old Ofra packaging. This was from 7-Eleven. I did a whole 7-Eleven makeup video. Don't see myself reaching for that one again. Old packaging. By the way, if it's old packaging, I don't really care about that. It's just for YouTube videos. Like if I'm going to be mentioning something, you never know when brands reformulate a little bit too. So if something comes out with a new version, it's usually just best to use the new version just in case what you're mentioning is different than what they came out with. All right, this is a classic Becca Moonstone. I might have doubles of Moonstone. Pretty sure I do. Yep. <laughs> okay, this is Champagne Pop. This one was a little bit too dark. I didn't love this one. I also find that the Becca highlighters just don't stay on my face very well, so I feel like I'm just gonna keep maybe one or two of the highlights, like Moonstone, which is a classic, and then I'll probably donate the rest of these. This is really pretty Nars Capri. Keeping that guy. There's a couple Makeup Forevers. If you guys are still watching right now, comment the word uh, cacti, because you are the real MVP. This MAC one is really nice. This is in the shade Baby Don't Go. Love that as a bronzer. Here's Cindy Lou. That one looks pretty. I'm gonna keep that one. This is another CYO. I'm not sure if this is a double. Yeah, this is a double. Okay, I feel like I don't need to keep Moonchild, do I? Really not a fan of this one. Wow, I have two boxes filled already, so I think we're doing pretty good. Essence Eyeshadow and Apricotta and Snowflake are both beautiful as face highlights. We have this Velour Highlight by AOA, also really pretty. Here's a couple more shades of the Starlet Powders by Makeup Forever. I don't think I'm going to use these shades a whole lot. This one is so pretty, Light Flush. This was limited edition, but I think I'm still going to keep it because I really like that. And then this Sephora Highlight I'm going to keep for future videos. And what is this one? Opal. We got to keep Opal. Last bunch here. So I just spread it out so we can kind of see everything. Let's start, let's start over here. Don't know what this is never use it. I'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of this. I might keep that Z palette, but I honestly never really depot things anymore or use Z palettes, so I just probably wouldn't use it if I kept it. Here's two Hourglass bronzers, definitely keeping these. Love both of those. This was a newer palette from MAC, and they do have a couple nice shades in here. I'm gonna tentatively keep this one. We'll see. There's a Morphe palette. Don't see myself using this one a whole lot, so I'm gonna get rid of that. Just trying to get some of the bigger palettes out of the way. Pure Contour Diaries was nice, the shade Secret. Don't think they make that anymore. This LA Colors I'm definitely keeping. These are kind of like back here, my OG kind of contour palettes. Sedona Lace, getting rid of, wow, this reminds me of when I first started my YouTube channel, Sedona Lace, this palette. And then this one I'm also gonna donate just cause it's very large and in charge. Old packaging, gotta keep the contour kit by Anastasia. I think I'm just gonna keep one of these shades. So I'm gonna keep this one, which is a little bit lighter. I'm not sure if they still make this, but this is in the shade light to medium. Okay, I'm gonna keep these Makeup Geek ones. I need to double check that they still make that. These ones I'm gonna donate because they're pretty bulky. I have a lot of Too Faced bronzers happening here. So let's go through these. Donate that one. That one's too dark. That one I won't use. 
natural bronzer. I'm gonna keep that one. I do like to keep a couple that are like too dark in case I'm self tanning or anything. I also have these ones by Too Faced. Definitely keeping milk chocolate. This one pulled a bit too like warm on me. So I'm gonna get rid of that one, I think. Okay, I'm debating between these two because I'm not gonna keep both since they're pretty similar. I think I'm gonna go with this guy. This one I was not a fan of by Urban Decay. Didn't find it to blend at all, but I might need to keep this for like a full face of products I don't like video. This Sephora bronzer used to be what I used every single day. <laughs> Look at that. I feel like I could probably do a video on like products like this where I've hit pan on the day to always use, so I'm gonna keep that. This Maybelline Master Bronze, I'm gonna keep. This one, I don't know, it's pretty bulky and I also don't reach for it a whole lot. I'm gonna donate this one. The Becca Chloe Malika, this is the, is this the shade I like or the other shade? Yeah, this is the shade I like, so I'm gonna keep that one. I think these are actually face powders by Burberry that I was trying as bronzers. I'm gonna keep this lighter one and then donate the darker shade. This was from the TJ Maxx video. That one pulled pretty warm, like orange, so I'm gonna get rid of that. Okay, this is cool. This is from Amazon. I mentioned this in Amazon makeup video. I'm gonna keep this one and keep kind of playing around with it. Okay, they brought this back recently. Thank God. This is the Glam Bronze. If you have fair skin and all the bronzes you've tried pulled way too warm and you're looking for a drugstore bronzer, try this one. Love the shade from Physicians Formula in there. Getting rid of these five here. Mostly just too dark or I don't reach for them triple baked bronzer. I have to double check that they still make that one. I'm keeping those two. Whoops. This shade I feel like might look really good with the self tan on since it has a little bit more of like a red undertone. This is sun kissed. This was Laura Mercier Soleil One. Keep that. This Elginous bronzer is really interesting. It's like speckled. I need to play around with that some more so I'm gonna keep that. I think I got that on hot look. And then this Laura Geller bronzer I really like. MUA, I use this as a contour shade, this eyebrow shade right here, so I'm gonna keep that. I love this. This is such a beautiful bronzer. I am pretty sure they don't make it anymore, but I still use this a lot, so I'm gonna keep that. Obviously got to keep my butter bronzers. I think I have some doubles. This is the light bronze and this is the normal bronze. I also have a other bin of makeup over there that has my more like everyday most used blushes, bronzers, and highlights. So uh, if you're thinking why you haven't seen some stuff, it's in that drawer. I'll probably quickly go through that afterwards just to see if there's anything I do want to get rid of. I don't think there is because I use those ones a lot, but maybe. Here's a number seven bronzer I'm going to keep. Looks like we have a lot of, oh, is this a double? That might be a double. I'm going to check on that after. Looks like we have a lot of Becca bronzers right here in different shades. Ooh, Body Shop. This used to be one of my go-tos. Don't think they make this anymore, sadly. These all still have, like, the seal on here. These two are definitely too dark. I don't even know why I kept these. I'm going to keep these two shades right here and then get rid of these two. Here's a different shade from Laura Mercier. This is Bronze 3, which actually looks like a little bit less orangey. This Burberry blush is really pretty. This is one of my packaging pet peeves when they put, like, the brush here that no one uses and then you just have packaging that looks like this. But this is in the shade number 7, Light Glow. I'm going to keep that for now. We have this hourglass powder which is diffused light probably gonna put that with my face powders actually and then another bronzer this might be a double so i'm gonna double check ColourPop one don't think they make that anymore this one i'm gonna keep and try again haven't used that in probably like years this becca chrissy teigen one the colors are just a little bit too dark for me so i'm gonna get rid of that this one i'm gonna get rid of i don't think the estee edit exists anymore that was short-lived, am I right? I think I want to just repurchase this Flower Beauty Trio because I feel like I'm never going to use it if the blush is out of here because I used the blush and the bronzer. So I think I'm going to get rid of that one and then repurchase it. Getting rid of all of these. Okay, I think I'm actually doing pretty good. This 310 powder I use as a bronzer by Maybelline. It's actually their face powder. Keeping the It Cosmetics bronzer. This Chanel thing I got years ago, I think I actually got it on Glambot maybe because I don't think I would have paid full price for this, but it's definitely too orangey and warm for my skin tone, but if I have tanner on it, it could probably work. And then here's Glitterati, keeping that bit Morphe. It's like a nice fair bronzer. Here's the Balm. I'm going to keep that one. The nice thing about the Balm packaging is that it's so tiny and like lightweight. 
Bobbi Brown one I'm gonna keep in medium too. It looks like it's gonna be too dark, but it has a really nice undertone to it. This one I used to always wear, but I feel like now I would just reach for the butter bronzer over this. So I'm gonna get rid of that. Another Becca bronzer. Where are you going, man? Okay, here's some contour shades. A lot of these are either eyeshadows or they're not like technically contour shades. And that's kind of what you gotta do if you have fair skin. Those are some of the best contour shades. So I'm gonna keep all of these. MAC MSF in medium to deep. I'm gonna keep that one. Hama Mama, holy crap, I used to always use this back when I self-tanned. This was like one of my go-tos before I really got into makeup. I gotta keep that for cinnamon sake. Okay, I definitely have doubles of this one, so I'm gonna get rid of this. I have this in my like everyday bin. Ashy Radiance by Catrice. Cover Effects Bronzer, keeping that for sure. This e.l.f. one I'm gonna get rid of. This L'Oreal. I'm not sure if they still make this. I'm gonna double check, but keep that for now. And then this is older Morphe packaging. So I'm going to clean the heck out of this whole thing and all of the bins. We're gonna do a little time lapse and reorganize everything. I have these blushes and these are some from the other bin I was telling you about. I kind of already went through these and got rid of, some of them were actually like broken that I didn't realize. So I got rid of those ones and then kind of just went through and got rid of a few other things. I think I'm actually gonna be just adding everything to this drawer if it'll fit because I feel like then I'll just be able to see everything when I'm picking out something to use that day. So this bin I think I'm gonna use as my things I wanna try, like blushes I wanna try more bin just so I can like take it out if I need to and it fits pretty perfectly right there. I might even do a mix of things like blush, bronzers, and highlighters in here. And then bronzers and contour stuff over here. Like I said in the eyeshadow video, I feel like I need to see everything or else I forget it's there. So I don't really like using the organizers or anything to kind of like stack them like that because then you just see black and you don't actually know what you have. So it just works best for me, I think, to kind of stack things. And I'm just gonna put things that I think I'll use less towards the back. Alright, so I fit all of my highlighters in here and then back in there, which I'll show you guys at the end. I'm just kind of putting things that I want to remind myself to try some more in here. And then after I try these, I'm basically going to decide where to put them, keep them, move them to another bin, whatever. I actually might need to kind of stack these a little bit. Just the ones that I know what they look like on the end, like the jouets and stuff, just to save some space. I think I've got all the blushes done. I got rid of a couple more things as I was like going through everything, but I actually like these all stacked like this because I know what these ones are just based on looking at the outside like that. And then I kind of have them like sorted by brand because blushes that I like, I tend to get like a few shades of. So I have my butter blushes here. A couple of those broke, they're in my other bin. And then the Ciate Physicians Formula, we have just some random other blushes I really like and I use a lot right here. And then this one's kind of just like a mix. I can see everything. I'll show you guys back in here in a second, but I, I can see everything. It's kind of like laid out, which like I said, I like. On to the last section, which is bronzers, which I have quite a few of. All right, about 45 minutes later, here we have it. This was actually a lot more challenging than I thought it was gonna be. So I got rid of a lot of stuff, let me show you. So this bag right here is fully filled of stuff. Those palettes, I ran out of room. And then this box, which is also fully stuffed. And I do feel like the things in here are things that I do need for videos and stuff. So 
I'm just going to give you kind of like a little bit of an overview of what I did. And you can see now like back in there what's happening. So over here, these are all highlighters and back there. And then blushes are in this bin, in that bin. And then these, like I said, this is the bin of stuff that I want to try like now. And then over here is all the bronzers, contour products, and palettes and stuff. So these are all the contour palettes in here. And then just any like bigger palettes in this little container. Back here in this little tiny guy are all the contour products and then these are kind of just ones that I'm keeping like for videos if I need them but I don't really use back there and then in here I literally had no idea how to organize these I can definitely see everything better I mean this was totally stuffed to the top before so I do think I got rid of probably like half of it I would say so I hope you guys enjoyed this declutter video if you did don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you're new here I upload every Monday Wednesday Friday 6 p.m pacific time but I love you guys thanks for watching see you in my next video bye